Ooh, ooh, ooh. Careful, careful, careful. <laughs> Thank you so much. Did you order a little extra yesterday with one of our colleagues? Uh, I might, maybe from another bank. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They said that they were going to hold them for me. Yeah, she did. Okay, good. Yeah. So you're going to have 2000 Okay. Plus, um... Plus, plus the 20, 20 and then the other 20. 2040, right? Yes. Okay. I got 2040 right there. Thanks. That's awesome. Yeah, anytime you find those older bills, if you hold them, I'll uh, I'll try and pop in and get them. Okay, cool. Yeah, no worries. What is up, guys? I just stopped at the bank to pick up some half dollars. And she had some other cool, cool stuff, which I'm going to show you when I get out to the car. Uh, some exciting stuff. So let me get out to the car and I'll show you what we found. All right, guys, I am back in the car and looky, 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 guys. Four boxes of half dollar coins. This is two thousand dollars in halves. Uh, like I said, we go through a lot of boxes. Um, if you guys haven't been to one of our live streams, come check out our live streams. We open these up and coin roll hunt live and we find all sorts of good stuff and do giveaways and have lots of fun. So come join us for that. Uh, so guys, you know how I've been saying, make a good relationship with your tellers. Well, today is a good example of why you need to do that. Look what I got right here. There's another little mystery bag of something right here, guys. So she uh, had called me a couple days ago and I had told her that, you know, I was looking for half dollars. I'm looking for any type of odd coins or bills. Uh, she called me and told me that a lady had came in and brought in $20 and half dollars. So that's what we have right here. $20 in half dollar coins. Uh, we're going to open those here in just a little bit. I'm, I think I'm going to take those home. Uh, it'll be a little easier to look through. But not only did I get all of these, and I'm not gonna show you the backside because she wrote my information on the backside, uh, phone number and stuff like that, so I'm not gonna flip it over. Um, she also, guys, got me this. You ready for this? Let me move these out of the way. Boom and boom. Look at that. I bet you can guess just from the backs of those that these are older banknotes. These are $10 banknotes. They are older. I don't know how old yet, for sure, for sure. Uh, but we're gonna look at these right now and see what we got. Uh, this is pretty awesome. You don't find uh, the older uh, 10s too often anymore. So let's flip the first one over and let's see what we got here. All right, let's go to the date. Okay, so this one's not like super, duper old it's 1988 series a now you got to remember that banknotes are only typically supposed to be in circulation for about uh 18 months or so about two years and then they get they should be pulled because they get worn out pretty quick so this one survived quite a bit guys to be uh a 1988 and let's check out that serial number guys check that out eight seven eight seven three seven six nine uh that, I wish it was a star note, but it's not. Uh, it started off as a repeater, the 8787. If that three would have been an eight, that would have been awesome. It would have been 878787. But uh, uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep this one, guys. Um, it's not like super old. Condition-wise, uh, it's okay. It's not the greatest condition. But it's not that bad either. Um, I just don't know. Let's flip it over. We'll check out the backside again. But it's still really cool to find older banknotes in circulation. I don't see any errors per se. Um, and let's see, let's check out the other site, 87873769. You should always compare this number to that number because sometimes they can be off by a few digits. And if, when you can find those that are off, those can be worth big, big money. Let's check the other one. All right same as the other one uh it could be older maybe the same i don't know let's flip it over i don't see any i'm looking at the back here just to see if there's any errors nothing that i can see 
Let's flip it over. And let's see. It's in better shape for sure. It's a 1988A. It's the same year, same series as the other one. Uh, 372-99061. So again, the serial number is not that not that great. Uh, it does have some staining right there by uh, by Hamilton's head. Uh, some little spots here and there. Still not a bad not a bad bill, but it's not in the best shape. But guys, here's my point. My point is she had these for me waiting for me because I had talked to my my teller and told her, you know, what I want, what I'm looking for, anything oddball. Uh, she, when I came in today, she said, you know, I have some older bills. Would you like them? I said, absolutely. Uh, and and take always take them, guys. You, you can always turn them back in if you don't want them. So always take that stuff. Uh, and I don't know if I'll keep these, like I said, but still pretty awesome. We still have $20 in halves to look through. So I'm going to take these inside, and we're going to open these up when I get home. Uh, and we'll look through there and see if we got any silver. So we'll see you there. All right, guys, I'm in the house, and we're going to go ahead and open this up and see if we have any silver out of these halves. I kind of shook it a little bit. I don't hear any silver. It doesn't sound like it. I can't, I can't show you the back side of this. It's got some private information on there, but we're going to go ahead and tear this open right here, and we'll pull them out, and we'll look at them, see what we got. Hopefully, there's something good in here. All right, let's see. We got $20, guys. I'm just going to pull them out one at a time. Keep you in suspense here. Let's see. The first one is $19.89. So the first one is not silver. Next one. Here, I'll pull a couple at a time. I don't see any silver here. This one is a... I can't even see it. It's not silver. <laughs> uh, this one's a 92 not silver. This one is a 79. That one is not silver. Let me grab a couple more. Hopefully there's something. All right, let me grab a little handful. Uh, I don't see any. There's a 91. There is a 85. And, but we're also going to look for other stuff too, guys, because there could be NIFCs in here or 87s. You just never know what's going to be in there. There's a 92. So, so far, nothing. Uh, 1990. 1990. Uh, another 1990. Well, unfortunately, it's not going to be the, the big score I was hoping for. 1992. There is a 1974. What else we got? Come on, be some silver. Be some silver. No, that one does not look silver. 1974. There's a oh, 1988. We were close to the 87. I like finding the 87s. They're really hard to find in circulation. Uh, there's a 1992. Now, if we find something 2002 or, or higher, that would be an NIFC. That stands for not intended for circulation. Uh, they're really hard to find. 1971. Let's see, another 1971. And I'll go back through these guys and look for errors or anything. There's another 1971. Quite a few 71s in there. All right, let me grab a couple more. Come on, silver. Boom. All right. Hmm. Hmm. What is this? This one is a 1992. Then we have a bicentennial. That one's kind of dirty. It's got a big black spot on the back of it. We've got a bicentennial. Next one is a 1971. Come on. Give me something good. 1992. Another 92. A lot of 92s in here. Um, 1974. It's got the ring of death on it. They always, You always see the ones that have the scratch all the way around from when they get wrapped in the machine. So I hate finding the ring of death. There's a 1990. And another, it looks like a 99 or a 92. You'll probably see it better on the camera. All right, we've got a few more in here, guys. A couple more. Pull a bunch out. 
All right, we got a 1972. Now we can flip that one over on the 72. There could be a no FG. There could be a variety. I'll check that uh, a little bit later. I'll look for that variety. Uh, let's see, we got a 1988. There's a 1990. 1990 again. So far, no silver, guys. Another bicentennial. Another bicentennial. And this one is a 1989. Okay, and we got a few more, guys. Let's see what we got. It's gonna dump out the rest. All right. We got a 1979. A 1972, again, that one could be a no FG. I'll double check it. Uh, there is a 1971, 1984, a couple more left, uh, 74, there is an 84, bicentennial, a 72, another 72 that I can check for a no FG variety. Another bicentennial, and unfortunately, guys, there is no silver in here. But, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this one is a 73, 1973. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. Make sure you give us a like, subscribe, share, and post your comments down below. We'll see you next time, and as always, guys, happy hunting!